Hello, today let's solve this integral in this general form by using contour integral. And let's get started. And here we require a and b, they are both positive real numbers. Because if a is 0, then this integral is reduced to a simple form. And the result is arctangent function, which is easy to solve. And if b is 0, then this integral is divergent. So now let's go back to this problem. Because the integrand function is even, so it equals to the one half times the integral from the negative infinity to infinity. And note for this integral, because the sine function is odd, so the integrand function is odd, so the integral is zero. And then we multiply half i, so it still equals to zero. And then we write our original problem into this way by adding this trivial zero. And then we replace this trivial zero by this term. And we got here. And then we group them into a single integral. And next, for the numerator, we can use Euler's formula. And we got here. Now we consider this integral into complex plane. After replace x by z, we got here. And then we factorize the denominator. Now let's draw the contour. Here we choose a semicircle contour on the upper half plane. And we can see IB is a simple pole inside our contour. We mark the path from the negative infinity to infinity on the real axis as C1. And we mark this large semicircle as CR. And next, we define this integrand function as fz. So from the Cauchy residue theorem, the sum of the two integrals on CR and C1 equals to 2 pi i times the residue. I copy them here. So let's look at the first integral on CR. Because this integral satisfies the three conditions of drawdown's lemma, so it vanishes on CR when the radius R goes to infinity. And you can clear here to see what are the three conditions for drawdown's lemma and how to prove it. I also put the link under this video. So we only need to compute the residue on IB, then we are done. Because IB is a simple pole, the residue equals to this limit. And then we plug in FZ. And these two terms cancel out. After replace Z with IB, then we got here. And then we plug in back to our equation. So we got here. After simplified, we got the final answer. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and give a like.